I know what you're thinking. The amount of money spent to purchase these paintings is insanely high. But I think most of us would understand why. Some of these paintings were created by really famous artists. And most importantly, these things are collectibles. If you buy one, you're the only person on this planet who owns it. So it's one of a kind. Now, I want you to take a look at this. Yep, I know. Why would anyone pay this amount of money to buy digital art or digital assets? Especially since the internet is an open book. Anyone can download or copy the asset you just bought. Like I did when I created this video. So why? Well, because these things, they are called NFTs. So, what is an NFT? It's non-fungible token. Non-fungible means it's unique and can be replaced with something else. So, how can a digital art that can be downloaded by anybody on the web become unique? Well, this is where cryptocurrency comes into play. Most NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain, which is publicly accessible and transparent. Meaning, anybody can see the details of any NFT transaction. For this reason, you can now prove ownership of that specific asset. So basically, an NFT is like a certificate of authenticity. Also, NFT can be anything digital, drawings, music, GIFs, videos, and the list goes on. NFTs started in 2017, but recently it has been getting lots of buzz due to many influencers buying and selling it. The rise of NFTs set the creative world alight and helped many artists and content creators share their work and thus making money along the process. The total value of NFT transactions quadrupled to $250 million at some point. All of this sounds great, right? It turns out that the transactions involved in NFTs have a really high carbon footprint, which means it consumes a ton of energy and harms the planet. Memo Actin, which is a Turkish digital artist, he analyzed the trading of 18,000 NFTs on the platform Super Rare. He discovered that the energy cost of an average NFT is actually equivalent to an EU resident's total electrical power consumption for more than one month. Upon learning about this, many artists they started canceling their NFT drops. Joanny Le Maxier, which is a French sculptor, he actually sold six NFTs in his first blockchain drop. But then he discovered that his sale actually consumed 8.7 megawatt hours of energy, which is equivalent to two years of energy use in his studio. Now, to address this, Ethereum is currently testing a new way of trading NFTs that could be 99% less carbon intensive. But unfortunately, there's still no specific date on when this will be implemented. NFTs are one of the most debated topics within the digital art community. There must be clear transparency and communication on how to improve it to make sure it rewards artists, but also protects the planet at the same time. Time will tell if this will actually happen.